Merry Christmas and welcome to a short review of the Hornby Santa's Express train set. The set comes in a spruced up version of the normal Hornby boxes from around that time. Of course it's sporting Christmas colours and it's got a nice snowy backdrop. The set comes packed in a polystyrene tray and it would normally have track and a controller, but mine is missing it, which I'll explain in just a second. The set has lovely paint applications throughout, though I do feel the train is a bit short. I know this was a cheap set, but I still feel it could have done with another wagon. The Loco is a fairly standard Hornby 101 tank, with the usual details you'd find. It has a copper chimney cap and whistles, and although the handrails are moulded, they do have some gold paint on them alongside the dome. It carries the number 12 because obviously December is the 12th month. Here is the North Pole wagon and it's a fairly standard Hornby plank wagon, though obviously it does have a really nice uh, resin load. There's a closer look at the load itself. Finally, we have the reindeer van. It's a fairly basic bit of kit. It's only moulded brown plastic. Um, it does obviously have the gold lettering on the side though. All of the wagons have plastic wheels and as you can see on the reindeer van unfortunately the brake shoes are very out of line with, with the wheels themselves. Now my set came with my old layout and its track and controller got used on that. So now Hornby will try and charge about £100 for a slightly different version of this set. Uh, it's got a different loco I think and different wagons. Now, £100, uh, well, near enough £100, is a complete rip-off. Don't buy it from them. I don't know why you'd really buy anything straight from Hornby. Now, Hattons have it for about £60, but even I feel this is a stretch. Um, it uses the really old uh, 040101 tank tooling, and you know, vans and plank wagons are reasonably cheap these days. So I really don't even think it's worth £60. Maybe 40 to 45 pounds would be nice to, you know, maybe get people to buy it around Christmas and maybe it would just pull them into the hobby. But I'm not Hornby, so, you know, I'm sure they've got their stupid reasons for why they want to charge 100 quid for an old tooling. Now time for some running. Just before I go, I'd like to say thank you um, for just giving me an amazing year back on YouTube. Um, um, I've been very grateful for everything I've accomplished. I, I know it's a relatively small channel, but I'm thankful for everybody who chose to subscribe. And since this is likely going to be my last video of the year, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, or well, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a good uh, whatever you celebrate, or even if you don't celebrate anything at all, um, have a nice day, and of course, a happy new year. Thank you for watching, goodbye, ta-ta!